Dr. Juan has it going on, Billy. He's on the cover of People in Espanol. That's our guy. This is a total surprise to me that he's on the cover of People in Espanol, but it's not a surprise that he is a sexy beast. He's one of those guys who's so sexy bald, I can't imagine if he had hair, he wouldn't be that sexy. You know what I mean? <laughs> We are joined by the handsome and talented Dr. Juan Rivera, right, with many, many degrees hanging on the wall behind him. So what more needs to be said? These are real, by the way. They're real. <laughs> All of them? Come on. These are real, and I lost my hair getting them. <laughs> A wall of diplomas, Univision's chief medical correspondent literally wrote the book on heart health. My friend, one year into this pandemic, and, you know, a lot of people haven't been to the doctor. They're not going because they're afraid to. Is that a mistake overall? It is a mistake, especially if you have a symptom that it's a red flag. For example, if you're at home and you're having chest pain in the middle of your chest, like you have an elephant sitting on your chest, you have to either call 911, go to the doctor. It's important. If you have a neurologic event, what does that mean? If you all of a sudden can feel your right arm or you can talk, you have to go because you have to get treatment in, the, in, in a three hour window uh, and that would be life saving. And the last one, Billy, for those using medications for erectile dysfunction, if you have an erection for more than four or six hours, you better go to the ER. <laughs> I say don't call the doctor, call the neighbor. <laughs> uh, usually the guy has already thought about that. What about home remedies? Are there certain things that you do at home to fortify your immune system? I do a lot uh, with home remedies. I've been doing vitamin D. That's an important one because studies have shown that people with low levels of vitamin D actually uh, get uh, more severe COVID. Some celebrities have asked some questions here to, for, for you. Okay, you ready to feed? So here we go. Dr. Wong, I never believed in headaches coming when there's high precipitation. Is this real? And what do you do for it? It is real. What can you do? Make sure you're always very well hydrated because uh, that is going to help you to accumulate less fluid. And number two, try magnesium. Magnesium is a great supplement to prevent headaches. What's a home remedy for um, for tiredness? Other Because I don't drink coffee and I won't do Red Bull. So what's a good uh, pick me up? I like maca. It's a Peruvian root and you can find it in capsules or it comes uh, in a powder. It increases energy, but guess what else it increases? Libido. Listen, you can uh, have more energy and then ideas to uh, as to what to do with that increased energy. Uh, how much wine can I drink? The good thing about wine, uh, alcohol in moderation can vasodilate your arteries. That leads to uh, better blood pressure control. It actually increases good cholesterol, but in reality, it should only be one or two glasses a day. That's the answer I was afraid we were gonna hear. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.